so they, they come into the heats and uh, they're quiet, they're shy, they've not got a lot of confidence. Yeah. But they just grow and grow and grow. And by the time they get here, they're confident young people that, are, that, that can do the job that they're meant to do. The standard has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, to be honest with you, it completely blows me away every year, year on year, how these guys just get better and better and better, which is obviously really good for the industry. They've dealt very well with the pressure of the thousands of people. Uh, what they haven't dealt with so well is when parents and uh, bosses and stuff like that show up. That uh -huh. seems to then show their nerves. Um, when I spoke to him last night, very positive. Had a good day yesterday, so uh, fingers crossed. It's a great experience to use all the latest equipment. Um, it's a bit hard to pick it up straight away, but yeah. it's, it's an amazing experience. I started off feeling really nervous, yeah. um, but after I spoke to all the lads and everything, we all get along really well, so it wasn't so bad. It was like a bit of a fun, fun time, to be fair. I think it's been a really amazing experience. We've had a really good bunch of competitors and a lot of people through the doors watching. I think this year it's it's bigger and better than ever. I, I think attendance, I don't know what the attendance will finally prove to be, but it feels like it's about 20% busier than it was last year. The automotive presence here is fantastic. It's something we've been banging on about for a long time and the message has clearly gone home because we've got people like BMW here, Volkswagen here, DAFA here, London taxi company or LEVC as they're now known. It's really fantastic and, and of course you know the, the, the centrepiece of it all is what we do here or what the IMI team do here along with our phenomenal team of volunteers. They know they're not going to be straightforward thoughts that they might come across in their daily routine so they have to think outside the box. I've just seen one of our painters win a silver medal, so wow. second best in the world in Abu Dhabi. Came through our competition. The day he came into the heat, he wouldn't look you in the eye, and he was extremely nervous, and really didn't think he did very well. And now he's a confident, bright, intelligent young man, and a real ambassador for our industry, I have to say. Yeah, I would recommend the Scalotto competition to others. It gets your name out there, it gets you uh, noticed for the World Skills competitions if you're age eligible as well. Uh, with all the new technologies coming in, you know, with elect electrical stuff these days, it's just uh, you know, part of the job. They're using it now and they're getting on with it very well. And it seems to be co coping with everything we can throw at them at the moment. Automotive as a whole, doesn't matter what discipline you're in, we need to bring people into that and we want the best quality and this is just showcasing what quality we have got. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the intense focus, the learning all the new technologies, the dealing with the pressure of the thousands of people walking by and watching is all over and it's now over to the judges. They're going to be counting up the scores, having some serious debates and deciding who is the winner. The gold winner is Luke Copplestead.
a dream come true. I was a bit shocked, lost for words, but all the hard effort over the years, blood, sweat and tears, and just learning, learning, it pays off, and yeah, it's just wonderful, so feeling good.